So, here we sit. Ten months since The Force Awakens has come into our lives, and we are all still trying to figure out who Rey is. Is she a Skywalker? Is she a Solo? A Palpatine? Or maybe one of my favorites, a Kenobi? Now, everyone obviously has their own reason why they believe what they do. And honestly, my theory I'm about to lay out here could be just as random as her being a Palpatine or a Kenobi. But here I go anyway. Hopefully you're ready for the trip. Now, Anakin and Luke's lightsaber played a huge role in this film. And if you ask me, there's a good reason for that. But before we get into the specifics there, let's quickly look at what we know about Rey and her connection to the larger universe. Now, number one, she was left on Jakku at a very young age. I would say five-ish, maybe six-ish years old. Uh, Han Solo recognizes who she is or who she might be. Now, this is displayed when she first offers, when he first offers her a job on the Falcon, and then when Maz Kanata questions who she is before J.J. Abrams quickly cuts the scene. Uh, we also see Leia's embrace at the end of The Force Awakens, and at least in my mind, that insinuates that she has an idea of who she is, if not outright knows who she is. Now again, we know that she obviously, Rey, has the ability to use the Force. And then she also believes she is waiting for her family to come back to her. Now Maz Kanata ensures her that they are never coming back, and that she needs to move on. So right there, those five things pretty much encapsulates who, or what we know about Rey uh, from The Force Awakens. So let's jump into my theory. All right, now first, before I move on here, I want to throw this out here. And even though this is all speculation, I want to make sure you all realize there is a potential for spoilers. All right, now that that's out of the way, I'm not going to bury the lead here. Rey is a genetically altered clone of Anakin Skywalker. Or maybe Luke Skywalker. Uh, but I'm going to stick with the Anakin one here. Now, this is a theory that has been thrown around a bit, but not really gaining any traction, and I think that's how Lucasfilm and Disney wants it to be. But let's take a look at a few things here. Now, number one, the lightsaber calls out to her. It's something that we've never seen before in Star Wars, and something that makes sense when it comes to the fact that a lightsaber was or is built by the one who wields it. So it would make sense that the Force could use it as a totem of some sort to reach out to he or she that created it. Um, number two, as I mentioned earlier, Han and Leia and Maz Kanata most likely know who she is. But here's the kicker. So does Supreme Leader Snoke and Kylo Ren. Now for those of you who did not read the novelization of the movie, the scene where Rey, <laughs> yeah this scene right here, well after she awesomely pulls the lightsaber out of the snow by using the force, Kylo looks at her and says, it is you. Yeah, I know it's not in the movie, so it doesn't exactly count. However, the book was written using the official screenplay used for the movie. So the intention was for him to know who she is. Uh, there's also that scene earlier in the film when he questions the First Order guy, what girl? Kylo also attempts to lure her to the dark side, from him for him to train her but more on that in a second here now Snoke he's a little more difficult so how would he know well just like Kylo he has his suspicions but never realizes the truth at least that we see on screen uh, this is also why he is adamant on Kylo bringing her to him so there's a little bit between Kylo and Snoke Number three, here's the fun part. Now this is where we get to speculate how these five people or beings know who she is. Following the events of Return of the Jedi, the remnants of the Empire were shattered until one man came in to lead, that Supreme Leader Snoke. Now during this time he wanted to attempt and recreate, and again this is just my opinion, uh, he wanted to attempt and recreate Vader using either the DNA from Luke's severed hand and or the DNA from Vader's burned remains. When doing this, the New Republic, I'll say Han and Leia, because it sounds good, stumbles across the child who is created and takes her and goes into hiding from Snoke. Now at this time, Ben Solo was also a young child, and for fear that of something happening to him and their family, Leia and Han decide to hide Rey away, 
on the planet of Jakku, where Lore Santeca, who we know is a friend of the Solos in some way, and we learned that from the conversation had between him and Kylo at the beginning of the film, um, he is the one who will look over Rayon Jakku. Now, I'd like to point out that in my theory, Luke Skywalker was never made aware of Rey. Um, that is until the end of The Force Awakens. So now we know uh, the fall of Ben Solo to the dark side. We know his obsession with making his grandfather proud. Um, but after his fall, uh, he began to stumble. He began stumbling across rumblings about a girl who was created by Snoke, or maybe even a child created by Snoke using similar procedures that were used to create the clone army many years ago. Now, unfortunately, he has no real proof of this until the events of Jakku. Now, Maz Kanata, who, again, obviously was a friend of Han Solo, um, helped in the rescue or the kidnapping of Rey when she was a child. Now, while on this mission, she came across Anakin's lightsaber, stole it without anyone knowing, and then hid it away. Uh, Han, I suspect, told Maz who he thinks Rey was, uh, and it wasn't until Rey found the saber that Maz and Han finally knew and understood what they stumbled across. Now, I think that is about it for the connections. But now really think about it. How cool would this be? Imagine the hate Kylo would have for Rey if she truly was an altered clone of Anakin. This entire time, Kylo is trying to prove to everyone, including himself, that he is the last remaining Skywalker who has the ability to fulfill Vader's destiny, his plans. But now Rey is not only in the way, but is the one who's able to prove that Kylo is actually weak and that Vader's plans and destiny were already fulfilled. Again, I, I think this will make for some interesting storytelling. Uh, it could definitely add a lot of um, intense scenes between Kylo and Rey. So besides everything that I pointed out here, why else would I come up with a theory like this? Well, one of the things that kind of pushed me in this direction was the fact that Star Wars Rebels has introduced Grand Admiral Thrawn to the, to the, the universe here, uh, a EU character... A now legacy character was now brought into this universe. And something that they have stated is the fact that any of those characters that they put into legacy and storylines could be adapted and brought into the current Star Wars lore. Now, sticking with the whole Thrawn series, during that series there was a time when Thrawn uses Luke's severed hand to create a clone of Luke. Now, granted, yes, I'm, I'm saying Rey is most likely a genetically enhanced clone of Anakin. But it could be of Luke as well. Um, it could be something that they tried to create a more powerful Skywalker. Which leads me to this. This is the big reason why I believe, or I really like this theory, I should say. The reason is, is because Rey needs to be a Skywalker. But she doesn't need to be the daughter of a Skywalker. And it keeps it within the family aspect. Um, it keeps it with the Skywalker aspect. But she is not Luke's daughter. I don't know. I like that, that theory or this theory here. So hopefully you guys all enjoy it. Um, if you do, hit the like button down at the bottom. Uh, comment. You know, let me know what you think. If you have your own theories, throw them down there. Because, honestly, this is the greatest time to be a Star Wars fan. There's been, never been a time like this, at least not since the late 70s and early 80s, when, uh, you know, people were wondering if Vader was telling Luke the truth or who the other was that Yoda was speaking of. So, hopefully, you know, we get some answers in Episode 8 here. But if not, it's good to speculate, it's fun to speculate, and I hope to hear from you all. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.